Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray, and thank you for watching. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button, turn on that notification bell, leave a like, and feel free to comment down below. Today, we are going to be talking about Dr. Stone Season 1, Episode 20. That's right, we only got five episodes left at this point, and I'm not even sure if we're going to see uh, the uh, Kingdom of Science versus the Empire of Might. Not sure if that's even going to happen. Uh, we will just have to wait and see. Um, based on this episode, with there being five episodes left, I don't know. I mean, maybe, um, but there might be like a time skip type situation. I'm obviously, it seems like this anime is a lot more about the science aspects of it, the intelligence aspects of it, than it is the fighting aspects of it. Uh, me, I like a good fighting anime, as most people do. Dragon Ball Z, Naruto, One Punch, Bleach, uh... And many others. Uh, but what are you going to do? It's it's a good anime. I, I have enjoyed the ride so far. But uh, with five episodes left, I don't know if I'm, we're going to get that big awesome fight at the end of it. Uh, so this episode, in my opinion, was another kind of... It was kind of useless, but at the same time, it's like a stepping stone type situation. Um, as we have seen before. Uh, so basically, Senku is making a cotton candy machine um, in order to make gold thread. Um, halfway through the episode, they find out that uh, it's not really going to work because um, the rate at which when they stop, because they're pulling the machine back and forth, kind of like a tug-of-war type situation, and the rate that they're doing it, when they stop, it creates clumps. And you don't want to have clumps in wire because if you have clumps in wire, it's going to make a giant mess and your product, which is going to be a cell phone or walkie-talkie type of device, is not going to work correctly. Um, but they do end up figuring it out. Basically what happens is they use a gear system and they are good to go. Meanwhile, while they are doing this, Krobe and Kaseke are building what we find out is a water wheel. <coughs> Excuse me, still fighting that cold just a little bit. And we find out that they built this giant water wheel. I think it's really cool. And Chrome is trying to one-up Senku for knowing what the compass was. And then he is like, Haha, I bet you I don't, you don't know what this is. And then Senku's like, oh, it's a water wheel. And Chrome's like, ah, darn it. Um, but it's really cool because they take the generator, hook it up to the water wheel and now we have hydroelectric power a limited amount of electricity which i'm assuming is going to be very useful in creating like a type of cell phone tower um, in order to communicate um, now going back to sukasa's side uh you have homura if i'm pronouncing her name correctly the uh woman we met the previous episode that is an all in pink with the pink hair and the county <coughs> duck face lips type situation um she is kind of watching over the village, Ishigami village, um, in preparation for this war that is eventually going to happen. Um, Zukasa realizes that he doesn't want to give a lot of time for Senku to plan, but at the same time he doesn't want to do it immediately uh, because they don't really they need to plan themselves. Uh, so they're going to wait for winter to come, and they're going to wait for the first off spring. Um, either that or my personal belief is I think they're, that Tsukasa is going to actually attack during winter because in that case the lake will freeze uh, solid, theoretically, around the island so that way all these people, he can, thaw, he can uh, depetrify more people and they can just all walk across the ocean, the frozen ocean, to them in order to fight them. Uh, so we'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. As I said, we only got five episodes left so I, I don't think the fight's going to end up happening. I think the next episode or two, um, <coughs> basically what's going to happen most likely is uh, they're going to get cell phones and uh, maybe there'll be some sort of fight. Hopefully we get to see Taiju in uh, Uzuri again because we've not seen him in a long time. Um, Senku's thinking is, oh, he's not going to kill them and he's also not going to tell them that Senku's alive because Tsukasa at the moment doesn't know if Taiju and Uzuri know that that Senku is alive, they are not 100% positive. He knows, if he knows that, he can use them as a hostage if he needs to. And he doesn't want them to know that he knows, because then they are going to run away and try to join Senku and the others, and he is going to lose his leverage if he needs that leverage. Uh, so, going forward, 
Next episode or two, I'm guessing next episode is probably going to be all about building the cell phones again, and that is going to get completed, or it, it may take an episode or two, um, and then it's just going to get preparations for the battle against the Empire of Might, Kingdom of Science, and 10 billion percent, we're going to end at a cliffhanger. Um, <coughs> so, as I said, next five episodes, it's probably going to be a little bit of filler, a little bit more character development with some of the other Ishigami villagers, and then we'll just have to wait and see what happens from there. Um, so, Senku kind of has an interest in women. I think maybe he, he likes Homura a little bit, not really sure. Um, after he makes the cotton candy, all the women kind of fall in love with him, um, and then he actually is trying to persuade um, Homura and other people because obviously... You know, wars have been fought for sugar and spices and all these other types of things. Um, so he's thinking that if he can get uh, realized that he has sugar and is able to make sweets and other food and things that all these depetrified people used to love, um, that he might be able to get her and some other people on his side in the process. But we'll just have to wait and see. I'm guessing somebody is going to end up joining uh, the Kingdom of Science. We'll just have to wait and see what happens with that. Anyway, thank you for watching. My name is Steve Gray, and as always, have a good one. Also, feel free to check out my guitar channel, Gray's Guitars, and hit that subscribe button for that channel as well as this one. Thank you.